because.net is here. Because.net and because.com is American website with the biggest collection of chunky yarns for hand and arm knitting. We're making these videos to promote our yarn that you can purchase on because.net or because.com. Uh, as we have the biggest collection of colors and uh, variation of chunky yarns, you will not find them in any craft stores, but you can purchase them on our website. So today I will be showing you how to make this beautiful cat bed that has an opening up front that will uh, be for cats who do not like to jump over the... Uh, high wall because usually I'm making uh, cat beds looking like that but um, some people uh, were saying that their cats do not like it so I made this uh, new pattern for the opening and I've used our Jumbo Chanel yarn in blue and today we will be using Jumbo Chanel in yellow look at this beautiful bright yellow color and I had a little bit of yarn left, so I made a little bow and attached it to one of the walls, uh, something for a cat to play with. So this cat is incredibly beautiful and soft. Your kitty will like it. Jumbo Chanel yarn is available only at becausey.com or becausey.net. Uh, I created this yarn. Uh, it's a custom made yarn. It was created for our company only. You cannot find it in any stores. So we have 26 colors available, uh, straight colors and variegated. Go to our website, purchase this beautiful yarn, and let's make this beautiful kitty bed for your furry friend. Uh, also, next video will be uh, I will be showing how to hand knit this beautiful dog, uh, Daisy dog, uh, beautiful uh, creation for uh, your child. And uh, you can purchase the video for this uh, uh, toy at becausey.com. Okay, guys, let's get started. So we will be using three skeins of Becausey Jumbo Chanel yarn in yellow. We will need scissors. And I will be using this marker uh, to mark the beginning of the roll. So let's open the skein find the tail and then we will make a knot on the end of the yarn to prevent it from unraveling like that just a simple knot then take need take scissors and cut the tail close to the knot that's all you need to do now we will place the yarn in front of us and we will place walking yarn, this is the tail, this is walking yarn, place walking yarn on the top to make a loop. Insert your hand, grab walking yarn and pull it through this loop and here we just made our first stitch. We will need to make it a little bit smaller because it was too big. You can pull walking yarn down and make it a little bit smaller. So what are we doing now? We are uh, holding the uh, first stitch with our left hand inserting our hand, grabbing working yarn and pulling it out. We just made the second stitch. If you're left-handed, hand, uh, you will hold the first stitch in your right hand, then you will insert your right hand inside the stitch, grab working yarn and pull it out. So it's the same, just like a mirror you're holding, you are inserting your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. So we are doing it with our right hand. So we have second stitch, uh, make them about the same size, then insert your hand and make a third loop. So now when we have three loops, what uh, we are doing now? Now we will be see one two three insert our hand in the third stitch and then use this first one uh, to make a uh, chain of stitches so insert your hand with this stitch uh, on your hand already grab walking yarn pull it out so you have now two stitches now you uh, 
Grab and working yarn and pulling it through these two stitches. You have one stitch and it's called single crochet stitch. So you keep it on your hand, then insert uh, with this hand, you kind of hold this, this opening or the first stitch that we're using because we will be using it six times. So we just made one, go in the same stitch, grab working yarn, pull it out, you just made two, grab working yarn, pull it through two another single crochet stitch. So now we will be inserting uh, our hand four more times. We just made two stitches, the same stitch guys, go inside, grab working yarn, make another stitch, pull working yarn through two, make a stitch. And left one is ha uh, holding this opening. So we have one, two, three, uh, four, five and six we will be making a chain of six stitches like that here we are this beautiful flower is a chain of six stitches now we can pull this yarn and close this opening in the middle and we can actually hide this uh, tail uh, underneath stitches on the bottom that it wouldn't be on our way. So Jumbo Chanel yarn is very fluffy, so you will not see where you tucked it in, okay? So here we are. Go on the front side, and now we have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one is number seven, but this one is walking stitch, okay? So what do we do now? We're using the marker. And you, if you don't have a marker, you can use a piece of yarn, just tuck it in here. You will see that's where you started. I uh, put marker that I would know that that one uh, was number six, stitch number six. So what do we do now? We are inserting our hand and now from the six we will need to make 12 stitches guys okay so this is not a stitch this is just a uh, leftover from the stitch that we started one two three four five six so skip this one insert uh, you keep hand in your uh, last stitch and then go to the uh, next stitch the first stitch we made not the whole stitch two parts of the stitch, but the back side of the stitch. So insert your hand, grab working yarn, make two, grab working yarn, pull through two. Now we will actually go in the same stitch because we are making 12 stitches. So we'll need to make two stitches from each stitch. So six stitches will become 12 this way. So we're going inside the next stitch, the back side of the stitch. Grab working yarn, make second, grab working yarn, pull through, and then second stitch in the same stitch. Okay, this makes too much noise. I will need to put it on the top a little bit like that. So, number three, making two single crochet in number three, number four, two single crochet in the same stitch and then we will do the same in number five single crochet two single crochets and number six see this uh, marker shows us that that was number six so we're making two single crochet and the number six stitch and this way we now have 12 stitches guys see beautiful uh, flower like base what are we doing now we are marking our last stitch and now we will be crocheting around we will be going inside this last stitch with our hand inside the previous stitch and now going inside grab working yarn make another stitch and then pull working yarn through this two now we are not going in the same stitch we're going in the second one we're going to make we're making two stitches from two that we had previously done in the third stitch so one two single in the third stitch we're doing two single crochet in one 
okay? So one, two, two singles, and then two single crochet in one. So one and two. So now two single crochet in two single stitches, one, and next one two and in the next one it will be number three over here we are making two single crochet one and two so keep doing it uh, to the end of the row two single crochet in each stitch in the third stitch two single crochet in the same stitch. This way we will be decreasing, I'm sorry, increasing st the number of stitches and we will be doing it for a few rows. So here we have two stitches, we just finished this row. What we're doing, we are putting our marker on the next one and now we are starting next row. The next row we will be making three single crochet in three stitches and then in the fourth one it will be two okay so i will try to show it like that here single 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 double <coughs> so one two and three so in the previous row we were doing single single double now we're doing single 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 double so so number four stitch, we're making two stitches in one. Now one, two, and three. And next one we will make two, but we will need to connect a new skein of yarn. Connecting, guys, uh, is pretty simple. You simple, you're simply making a knot with these two ends of the uh, two different skeins. Make a knot and pull it in both directions until you can feel that there is no way to pull and then cut the tails close to the knot. So here we just connected uh, the yarn and you cannot really see it, especially on the finished product. Now, we need to make two stitches in this one. One and two. And now we are going uh, to make three single crochets. One, two, three. See, it's increasing beautifully. It looks like a beautiful flower. So one, two, three, now we're making two into one stitch, and then we're making three single. One, two, and third one into this stitch that we used already. So we move the marker, so three, okay? So now we will repeat, guys, repeat one more row. Single, single, single double and the fourth one two three and then double into the next one one two so spread it a little bit because if you don't spread it then you will have uh, sharp corners where you increase in stitches so one and two in the fourth See, it kind of like uh, going like that, so you will need to spread it to make it nice and round. Now three single, one, two, and three. And now two and the next one. And we're almost done with this row. And then one, two, three, huh? we can, actually make one more double here in the same stitch here and then the last one one and two so what are we doing now guys so this will give you 18 inches base okay 18 inches is over here so what do we do now we are moving our marker and we will start making the wall 
okay so this is our marker and we're making the wall for the wall we will not be using the back of the stitch we will be using both stitches see this is the stitch we were using the back of the stitch now we're lifting the stitch both part of the stitch one two inserting our hand grab working yarn make a loop and then pull the yarn through see the difference when we're going into the back of the stitch or when we're going underneath the whole stitch. That's what we will be doing. We're not increasing, we're not decreasing. In this row, we're just making the wall. And to make the wall, we need to use uh, two part of the stitches, not the back side of the stitch. So here we are. And we're almost done with our next skein. Here we are. We're connecting our third and last skein. We need three skeins for this project. The same simple knot, guys. And then pull it in both directions. And then take your scissors and cut it close to the knot, like that. If you pulled it tight enough, it will hold very nicely. If you didn't, it might unravel when uh, the cat bed is used or when it's washed. Okay, so now we are knitting, I'm sorry, crocheting until we have, so this is where we started making the wall. We will need to keep four stitches not knitted for the entrance. One, two, three, four. Here, one, two, three, four. So we are crocheting the wall until we have four stitches left. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So what do we do now? This is the wall forming here. This is the entrance. So now we are turning the cat bed and we're inserting our hand in this last stitch and then we're using these two stitches over here the same way not the back not the front part we're going underneath both parts of the stitch grab working yarn make another stitch and then pull working yarn through so we just made a simple crochet stitch only we used two part of the stitch. The same as we were doing in the previous row. That's how you're making the wall. It's a little bit different than making the base. So here we are. We're going all the way to our marker. That's where the left side of the wall is forming. And when we are there, I will show you how we are turning. So here we are, almost here. You can see the beautiful wall forming. So here we are. We can take our marker out and one, two, three, four. So this is the stitch we are making one more stitch. So here we are, guys, see, we have the wall forming already. Uh, and what do we do now? We are turning and going uh, different direction one more time. So turning this way, insert your hand inside this last stitch and then go underneath the next stitch, both sides of the stitch and go all the way around to make nicely looking beautiful wall. I usually make a, a round uh, cat bed, but some cats uh, don't like to step over the wall. So for these kitties, we're making this cat bed with the opening and it also can be used for a small dog. Okay, let's see. We're almost to the side. We'll have a little piece of yarn left. So if you want, you can s make a little uh, bow and hang it on the side of the bed to for your kitty to play. Okay, here we are. And then, okay. So here's our bed with the walls. 
And here we, I will show you how we finish it. We cut the yarn. We make a knot on the end to prevent it from unraveling. Cut the tail close to the knot. And then you uh, insert in this, uh, your hand inside this last stitch and go underneath any stitch here on the side to finish it nicely. And then this tail goes inside and then you pull. See? Then you're just hiding this tail or tuck it in and then both sides of the bed will look the same. So at this point, guys, you can keep it like that or another way, you can actually turn it inside out. It's up to you which way uh, you like it better. So here it is, a beautiful cat bed. Here is our piece that is uh, we have left. You can make a little bow like that. And you can attach it either here on the end or here. Uh, it's up to you. You can just simply attach the yarn like that. And that will be something for your kitty to play with like that. Here we are. So three skeins of Jumbo Chanel yarn are uh, available only at Bicozy.com or Bicozy.net. It's the same website. Uh, go get this yarn and make this beautiful gift for your furry friend. Stay warm and be cozy. Hey guys, uh, Larissa Koydekir with Bicozy.com is here. Two years ago in September, I published my book uh, that called Hand Knitting. I created hand knitting style in the end, at the end of uh, 2015. And uh, last year, oh, actually two years ago, I wrote a book, it was printed. This uh, book tells you what hand knitting is, uh, the story of uh, my company, Becozy. And also we have a few amazing uh, patterns and every single step uh, how to hand knit is shown in this book. This book is sold at becozy.com and on Amazon and Amazon you can also buy a Kindle version. So go get this book for yourself or for your loved ones. Thank you.